My name is Alyssa Angelo and I am the Crawford County Dairy Princess of 2014-2015 and I am doing my story on farming in Crawford County. My inspiration starts with my grandfather uh, as far as me being involved with agriculture and farming. He's definitely been a big inspiration for me doing what I do as Dairy Princess and being involved with the eighth, gen eighth generation dairy farm and it's something we ex extremely proud of and I did this to make my grandfather proud. Um, he's a big part of my life and I know every day that it's funny to see him him smile at me wearing a dress because I've always been the one to wear the blue jeans and the boots in the family and uh, help him fix the tractors and stuff and he got to go to Ag Progress Days this year and it was definitely an exciting time for him and um, it's nice to know that I could provide that opportunity for him with being Dairy Princess. and. My mom was actually alternate dairy princess in 85 and 86, so it's definitely something that goes back into uh, my family's history and it's nice to be representing the dairy industry uh, this year. Uh, I am currently at, very active in farming, especially with being dairy princess. I not only show my cows uh, nationally with my grandfather and my, my aunt Hazel, my uncle Art and my cousin Donald, but we also are very active in the dairy industry this year more than ever. We currently live on an 180 acre um, farm and we actually do beef cows as well as uh, replacement heifers for dairy. I started showing at a really young age. Um, I used I had a cow halter in my hand at the age of three and have been doing 4-H ever since. Uh, sadly, this is my last year in 4-H coming up and uh, it's definitely a bittersweet moment. I know that there are bigger and better things, but farming's all I've known as a kid and it's definitely gonna be different stepping out of the the show barn and going into the college life, that's for sure. Farming has been a part of my life uh, ever since I was a baby and you can start 4-H at 8 and I definitely was starting a little bit ahead of everybody else. But um, in order to be the Dairy Princess for Crawford County, there are some qualifications that you need to meet in order to run. Um, one being that you have to have a connection to the dairy industry and mine was that my grandfather had an 8th generation dairy farm. You also have to have a speech that's 35 minutes long and your target audience is adults as well as a skit that is 35 minutes long which your target audience is 5 year olds um, and school children. I often do my skit for uh, students in pre-k and kindergarten classes they enjoy it and it's something fun for them to learn about the dairy industry and um, mine's we're on the hunt for the nine essential nutrients and i have my camouflage on and i have a holstein costume and my little cow bessie and it's pretty great they enjoy it a lot um, so you have to have those and then you go on if you get um, dairy princess you go to state pageant in harrisburg pa which i just came back from I competed, I didn't actually place, but Hanover Bannock, the Erie County Dairy Princess, um, was in the top seven, so congratulations to her on that. As being the Dairy Princess, there is a lot to go with it, um, more than I actually anticipated myself, surprisingly. Uh, starting with the Crawford County Fair, that's our biggest week, um, and with soccer and everything else, it was a little hard to manage, because we actually do a giant Sunday, which serves 600 people, um, that, and that's amazing. So we do that, and we actually do a lot of radio promotions at the fair. We have the Hall of Fame, which honors farmers in our community. And we definitely do a lot of parades as Dairy Princess. I just came from one yesterday. Um, it's a great experience, actually. I've never got to be in a parade. The Dairy Princess pageant was my first pageant I've ever really been in. So it's a little bit of a new experience, put the high heels on um, and the dresses, but it's it's been great. We do, you do a lot of things uh, in your community with the state princesses as well. We did uh, the Sea Wolves game which was a blast and a half. It was great. I definitely think farming is an important thing to our community in Crawford County. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize the effort that farmers put into uh, everyday occurrences. Um, with farming, you really don't have any sick days or weather cancellations. Um, I actually did my speech for the pageant was why I farm. And it was all about uh, why I personally love farming, why I do it, even though it's a lot harder than what people think. Um, I would say my favorite thing about living in Crawford County would have to be the closeness of the farming communities um, and the community itself. There's everybody's trying to help everybody out and Crawford County may not be very big, but definitely you know that your neighbors have your back and they're watching out for you.